question that we as speakers, consultants, coaches have to ask is, are you practicing to improve or to reinforce bad habits? And that is why we come to NSA or go to Toastmasters or have mastermind groups is to learn from somebody like Michael new ideas to look at what we're doing. Because when we are speaking, communicating, however we do in our everyday life, we in fact are reinforcing what we do well and we're reinforcing what is distracting from us being as powerful as we can be. So how do you get to the next level? One, you understand where your strengths are. You build on your strengths. You look at minimizing your detractions, and that might need, mean needing somebody else to help you. And third, you learn more information from somebody who knows more about the subject than you do does not know more about your subject, but just the subject. I would encourage you to take the words that you use very much as Pat did and put them under a magnifying glass. She was showing you some very painful mistakes people made with their writing. I would encourage you, if you want to get to the next level of your development, to take what you actually say, a live presentation, whether it's seven minutes or three hours, and have it transcribed and read, not what you thought you were going to say, but what actually came out of your mouth. And even the most experienced amongst us will be horrified. <laughs> we focus on stories with Hollywoods because it helps an audience see what we're saying. There is no better way to explain the complex than with a story or an example. And we need to develop stories and then populate our stories with flesh and blood characters that our audience will relate to. And that's what Hollywood does. Even though, as Michael was saying, we really have no connection with that person, they, the Hollywood writers make them flesh and blood characters that we are empathetic with. So your stories have to be about people, real people. And how do we present information in a way that the audience sees it? So as you're putting together your story that you might perfect, as part of your development, just think, when was it? Where was it? Who is in the story? And what happened? This is not necessarily how we speak and how we write. And Michael is telling us we can tell a story in one minute. Let's look at a simple sentence. If we were to turn on CNN or read in the Wall Street Journal, we will probably hear something that sounds like President Obama delivered a speech on health care at Yale University yesterday. That's how we speak. If you take the simple principle from comedy, a setup phrase and a punch word or a punch phrase, the punch phrase triggers the laugh. Take my wife, please. If you step on your punch word, you kill the laugh. Now let's look at the world most of us live in of business communications and change the words from punch word or punch phrase to impact phrase. In other words, what of this sentence is the most important? And I would encourage you when you look at what actually comes out, in, out of your mouth or if you're preparing remarks that you are going to deliver frequently, organize it in a slightly different way. Yesterday, if we hear yesterday, we know recent history. 
at Yale University. Oh, I haven't been there, but I imagine beautiful buildings, nice grounds. <laughs> President Obama delivered a speech on healthcare. What he spoke about is the impact phrase. That is more important than was it yesterday or the day before, was it Yale or Harvard? If you think of the impact phrase, goes at the end of the sentence, especially with your important sentences. Of course, as Alfred Hitchcock said, a movie is like life with all the dull parts left out. Now, when we are developing our story, you start at the beginning and you add all the details that you need. And then in your rehearsal, in your practicing, you take away everything that doesn't develop your characters or move your story forward. And the best way to do this is to build rehearsal into your everyday life and practice your stories at the dinner table or with your pals at the water fountain.